My name is Starchel Stella. Uh, I am a visual artist and a community organizer. I do lots of work around surviving sexual violence. This is one of my main team at the moment and, and my writing is the same thing. I talked a lot about my personal experience. I do a feminist artwork. I usually use very soft colors and I have kind of my my cute style, but I often have like either strong messages or support messages. Like I'm very attracted to that right now, more like kind of the community aspect and like taking care of each other and supporting ourselves as yeah community, I guess. I started to do graffiti. I was still in high school, so it's been a really long time. Um, I started really just for fun. I was not really an artist when I started that. So I think I developed my art skill at the same time as I discovered and practiced graffiti. For me, I'm, I'm a very critical and bitter person, so I like graffiti that is kind of alternative. I do paint big things and I do like colors and mural, but I'm not a mural artist. I like to do graffiti in the more obscure ways, but it's still a very important part of what I do. My art really changed for the years because when I was younger I did not identify as feminist and uh, something happened to me that made me really do lots of research and really put myself searching about certain situations and what to do relating to sexism and rape culture. This really resonated with me at the time because I was able to put words into situations that happened to me and put them in a framework that show like a bigger scheme of things, you know? Be honest and talk about these things because they happen they happen within our scenes and you know people people talk about it these days but there's still so much to say about the way we welcome or not survivors within our circle. She's so funny. Look, my two idols right there. If you want to progress and uh, like get to a point where you actually like what you do, putting time for that is really important. For me, I think like that's that's when I kind of like the way I envision art or being an artist kind of shift. It's when I started to like work on things every day but you don't have to work on things every day but you definitely need time to think and create that really helps we uh, all have different goals like what do you want to do with art like if you want it as a career it's going to be very different than if you just want to like be good at it or if you want to do personal things you know it's different for everybody so i think finding like what it is for you and what it means is also like an important step and then if you want to share your art, then putting yourself out, out there in the world can be really helpful. For me, it was very important, like the, the moment I started to really share my stuff online. Um, that's when I realized that actually I could do that like as a thing every day. This one is uh, Jerica from Jim and the Hologram and then when she uses her earrings then she gets in contact with that one.